Hi, I'm Jay Thomas from Jay Thomas Auto, and it's time for Hot Rod Hangout. Another update with Rod himself over on Faithful Avenue in Saskatoon. Rod, we had plans. We had plans to look at a bunch of vehicles, and you went and sold them all. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did have a plan. <laughs> and the, all three we were going to uh, showcase, yeah. were, uh, they're all gone. Yeah. So we had to wait a couple days for the transport to show up. Transport showed up last night. We got three new ones, one that you still haven't seen yet. Yeah. And there's still more coming. And it's kind of a Chevrolet exclusive today. It is. In a sort of way, right? Yes. I guess that's a GMC, but I'll call that the same thing. We got a pair of Chevelles to look at, mm -hmm. an SS Camaro, and a GMC, you call it a shop truck. Shop but truck. You'll, pretty, you'll see why. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's take a look. Okay, Rod, it's the all GM exclusive this week. So we're starting right here with what? 1969 Camaro SS RS. Kind of a, it's in the middle of a resto mod. Uh, it's got a Tremec five speed, nice stroker, small block, four wheel disc brakes. But still has the original look to it for right now. Yep. So unsure if we're gonna go more to the pro touring resto mod look or make it look a little more stock, I'm not sure. It's cool though. Either way, it's a nice car. Yeah. Uh, Phantom uh, green. We had one of these last week, identical car, but it had the side um, hockey stripes on it. Oh yeah. And it was an SS, not the RS. Right. Same color though. Same color. Yeah. Twins. Cool. Yeah, this is beautiful. Man, oh man. I was driving it today. Wow. This was my driver until about half hour ago. Look at that. And it's manual. Five speed. Yeah. yeah. Five speed. Well, that's that's a new that's a new transmission, right? I mean. Oh yeah, brand new. Said, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there wasn't a such such thing as a five speed no. in this car. Brand you know. new Tremec. Yeah. Nice little stroker. Ooh, look at that. Look at all the polished aluminum and everything else. Yeah, and the, and the power four-wheel disc brakes were added. Um, also, the headlights, these uh, has the uh, electronic conversion from uh, Detroit Speed. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, so that's, that's, cool. a, that's a cool piece on these. So they're a little more reliable, <laughs> that's Absolutely. what you're saying, you know, for those slide away. Because they kind of slide inwards, don't they? They kind of go yep. inside. And the, uh, they call it a Endura bumper, so it's all body color, right? Yeah, that's cool too, which is... Most of them are chrome, right? So. Yeah, sure. That's a handsome car. I actually really like the wheels too. I, I like that it's kind of more original that way. Yeah, I mean, we play with the tire size a bit, um, but we just got it in. So we'll see if it lasts long enough to to do some changes on it. <laughs> well, it lasted long enough at least for us to make a video about it. Well, that's because is... it just came in last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice interior too. Fantastic. Oh, we got a tack up in the dash. Factory tack. Yeah. That's cool. And it's a real SS? We're not sure yet. We're not sure yet. We're this is find a, US, out. a US car, so it's pretty hard to tell. Yeah. So we're not selling it as a real car. We're selling it as a nice Camaro, so. Cool. That's phenomenal. We're gonna go over here right next to you. This is, uh, this came from a buddy of mine. Uh, this was his shop truck. I've been kind of looking at it for a while, so I thought, uh, we sold our red 69 with the LS in it. Yep. So I thought, this is more of a shop truck. Uh, we don't plan on painting it or doing anything. This is just how it is. Yeah, it's great. It looks all rusty and bad, but it's actually not rusty at all. It really? It has the look. Well, we gotta have it. Okay. And so, yeah, all like all the dings and stuff are, are actually real. Look at that. But <laughs> like this is so this was like a a long box that was cut down. Yeah. And you okay. You see the welds. And, it's been modified. Yeah. yeah. Now it's a short box. Now it's a short box. Lowered, sitting down there. It's on air ride. Oh, it's on air ride. Yep. Yeah. Oh, phenomenal. Well, that makes it really useful, even for really as a shop truck, because yep. you guys can put some stuff in there, load up the box, and not have it, you know, bogged yeah, a, down. They used it every day. Last three or four months, they used it day and night. They, whoever jumped in it and just go. With the LS in it, it makes it uh, very usable, easy to drive. Oh, look at that. Yeah, for sure. Totally modern stuff. Yep. That's simple. It's even got cruise control on it. <laughs> and somebody, somebody swapped in a newer interior. Yep, well, seats anyway. Yeah. Se seats anyways, yeah, I should say. The dashboard's pretty much original, but. There's a little uh, there. unit in the uh, center console for your uh, Speedo that you just pull out. And then uh, it's got a cool air ride system. Uh, you turn the key on and then it, and then it all just goes up to the right height and it levels it all. Really? Up. So it's, it's very user friendly. 
That's cool. That's really sweet. But it actually has a box. Our other 69 had the, the wood coming way up tall. Yeah, I remember that because yeah. the whole air ride system for that was down here. Yeah, right? this and one is in here now. It's in the toolbox. Oh. And, but this floor is not cut, so this is not quite as low as the other one. Yep. But you have a full use of your box. So Yeah, minus a little space, but so what? You yeah. Know, for hauling parts and but stuff. But as far as the height goes, right? Yeah, that's right. To get it down lower, you have to cut the box out so your rear end can go right up into the mm -hmm. in that area. No, but this is still like totally useful. Yeah. All the lights work. It's just a very, you know, very good functioning, safe uh, shop truck. Yeah. Very cool. So we'll have to get uh, too tall or seasick or someone down here to do some, do some uh, artwork on the doors and make it our own. I like it. Yeah. Very cool. All right. We're going for the pair of Chevelles. Start with this one right here. Uh, this is a very, very original car. We have documentation like crazy on this thing. Yeah. Um, in fact, most of it's floating around in the back seat here. Yeah. Right. And you said to me before we got going here, totally original interior. That interior is all original. The seats, the headliner, everything. It's all original. Wow. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Not a not a mark in the whole thing. It still has the has the car warmer. Down there. Yeah, I was gonna say. Interior look at there's warmer. an interior warmer mounted inside of it. Yeah, it's, that's the original color of the car. You know what? The, the steering wheel isn't even cracked. No. And they all cracked. Like it's a really nice original Chevelle. Do you know any of the story behind it? Like who owned it or anything? I I do, and um, it's all in the paperwork. I don't want to say until I go through it again. Okay. Again, this one just came in last night. Wow. Um, so someone, the previous owner has started, didn't know which way to go because we also have the factory rally wheels for this. Okay. So we're thinking about maybe putting it back to more stock looking with the factory rallies. Yep. Um, but it does have new Wheelwood front disc brakes on it, QA1 adjustable front coilovers, um, and then the wheels and tires were, that were put on. So we're not sure if we're going to go like a full resto mod, do the rear disc brakes, get it sitting down a little bit lower, um, or put it back to more stock, because the car is really stock. Yeah, and that's, you know... Like I very, very stock. I'm a stock guy, and because, because it's already mostly stock, you know, that's that, I, I like that option, but you're right, you could kind of go any way you want with this thing. The engine bay could use a little um, cleaning up, but it's all original. Oh, wow, The motor's never ever been out of the car. That's, that's pretty like clean. Original. I mean, you say cleaning up, but it's not that dirty to begin with, really. Well, most some guys would like to keep that original. I think by you know detailing the motor a little bit and just you know showing it. Look at look at even the sticker is still in really good shape. Keep your GM car all GM. At look DC. at all the the underhood. Um, yeah. Insulation's all still there. All still there. Very cool. Yeah, it's very like original car. That's fantastic. Other than it was painted once. Other than it's, but it's the real, it's the original color. Yes. Yeah, because I mean, even look inside the fenders, you know, you can tell yeah. that it's, that was the color. That's of the, the original car. paint down there. And it's actually smooth and shiny down there, even yeah. though it was repainted up here. Wow. Yeah. We'll get some more documentation on it and uh, maybe kind of, kind of explain this story more on one of the next videos. Yeah. Well, like, if it's still around. <laughs> yeah, it's still around. That's a story here, yeah. You never know. Now, this one over here has left and come back, but it is back and we never got to see it. You know, it was kind of probably in the middle of coming and going before when I was here last well, time. It left and come back in more ways than one. So I'm not going to go through those story, but I owned this car two three years ago and oh, really? it was just in primer then. All the chassis work was all done. Uh, the chassis work is unbelievable. A gentleman by the name of Pete Buchert did the chassis work. He's, he's now passed away. Um, it's, it's unbelievable how that chassis looks and the exhaust and everything. So 64 Chevelle, Pro Touring. Um, now in the last year, it was painted, all new paint, new body. The interior was finished. Um, it's a done car, big block, 454, punched out. Yeah, ooh, back seat delete, that's kind of neat. Would have had a seat, but it's just yeah. a nice interior too in this. Looks really good. Looks really good. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, one of my favorite cars to actually drive. It drives like on the highway really well. Yeah. You wouldn't think with the big tires like that that it would uh, it would drive so well, but it does. 
Um, let's see if we pop the hood here quick. Yeah. A little tight quarters. Holy, you said what, 454? Yeah, that's just the valve covers. It's, that's not what the motor is. Holy smokes. So I guess 468. 468, that's, punched, that's so. what it's punched out to. Wow. That is phenomenal. That's gonna be one quick car and I bet it makes use of those big fat rear tires too. We got some marks outside that they kind of prove it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of fun. Cool. Okay, Rod, so maybe these will be here for the next couple of days. They might be gone, you never know, but. As we speak right now, there's someone coming down for the 64 Cheval and someone's coming to look at the 69. <laughs> so we'll see what happens today. What are we gonna expect? What else is coming our way though? I got a 77 Corvette, not always the, the most sought after year, but it's probably one of the nicest ones. It was in the World of Wheels in Calgary. Yeah. It's a really, really nice one. So that's coming and a really killer 55 Bel Air hardtop, pro touring car like you've never seen before. Like it's killer. So hopefully those will be here the next time we shoot another video next week. But if you see anything you like, don't forget to go to rodshotrods.ca. Check it out there for more details and pricing. And we'll catch you next time on Hot Rod Hangout.